Irish boxers are here today with Irish super middleweight Darren Cruz at Castlegrave Boxing Club in their beautiful surroundings in County Roscommon. Darren, you've just finished training. How is your preparations going? Preparations are going brilliant at the moment, yeah. Um, strength and conditioning is going brilliant. So, trainer here, Fintan Glynn, who's been training me as well, who's been really, really pushing us to the limit as you're after seeing there yourself. Um, I'm, I'm fit and I'm strong and I'm ready to go. There was a rumours of a fight between yourselves and Anthony Fitzgerald, which was cancelled. What's your feelings on that? Um, I can't rightly understand why it's been cancelled. Um, you know, fitzy has been mouthing off and saying that how good he is, and, and but he won't fight the local, the, the Irish lads. He won't fight. You know, I, I've heard him pulling out a fight with Spike. You know, um, Robbie Long wanted to fight him again. Kieran Healy wanted a rematch with him. Um, Ryan Clark wanted to fight him. I want to fight him. But he seems to be setting his standards higher than us. Where, you know, to be truthful and to be honest, you know, he's not even above us. You know, he's not even the best super middleweight in the country. Never mind fighting a world champion or fighting for a world title. I think it's it's a joke, really. To be honest. Do you feel you have the measure of Anthony Fitzgerald? I spared Anthony Fitzgerald on, on a lot of occasions. I've travelled to Dublin to spare Anthony, and you know, I know myself. Other people have said it. People have seen it. I can beat Anthony Fitzgerald on my day. And I think Anthony knows it himself. I think Phil Sutcliffe knows it. I think everybody up around Dublin knows it. And I have no problem with fighting Anthony Fitzgerald. And I've only had three fights so far. Well, in fairness now, Anthony Fitzgerald is a very good fighter and holds a number of titles. Yeah, I won't take it away from Anthony at all. He's a good, strong fighter. He's uh, very competitive. Um, he's strong, good in close boxer. But, you know, he fights one way and that's it. Um, I think I have to measure Anthony Fitzgerald any day. Well, Andy showed against Kevin Hammond and Belcham that he can box. Uh, he's a very competitive fighter. What's the difference between you and uh, the boxers I've mentioned? Like, it speaks for itself. Kevin Hammond, in his last fight, got absolutely demolished by Billy Joe Saunders. And Belcham, he fought Belcham, and Belcham got stopped where I think everybody in the country couldn't understand why Belcham was stopped. I think it was a disgrace why Belcham was stopped. And... Um, you know, the difference between me and them is they're completely over the hill boxers. I'm young, I'm 21, I'm fast, I'm strong, and you know, he knows that as well. Do you know? Okay. Uh, it's said that Anthony Fitzgerald offered you a, a triple Titan fight if you got an eight round fight under your belt. Is this correct? Yeah, he said it in Castlebar. He said, if I had an eight round under my belt, he said he'd fight me for the three titles. Still, he won't fight me for, you know, at this level, you should be keeping busy all the time. Why doesn't he keep busy against me? You know, it, it, it makes sense. If he wants to keep busy and get fights, I'm ready to fight him. Uh, Lee Morta has stepped in uh, to, to take uh, Anthony Fitzgerald's place. Lee's a very experienced and capable opponent. Uh, like, he's had 44 professional fights and certainly the most experienced opponent you'll have faced, today, uh, faced uh, to date. Definitely, without doubt, Lee, you know, Lee never turned down a fight. Um, it speaks for itself. The record he has, he's been in with the best. He's fought Anthony twice. You know, and on both occasions had to be stopped with a cut eye and you know apparently it's been said it's been cut seen head. with the cut on his head like you know so um, that's the way it goes so, but fair play to Lee he's coming back here to fight me um, and I have a lot of respect for Lee for coming back a lot of people may not know but you had a successful amateur career that's right yeah I've been boxing since I'm seven um, I won seven Connor titles Four All Ireland titles, won two Four Nations bronze medals, fought for Ireland in the European Championships as a schoolboy, won a silver medal, and uh, boxed for Ireland on numerous occasions. So, yeah, I've, I've, I've been a good amateur career behind me, yeah. Thank you very much, Darren. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you. No problem, thank you.